Welcome to Sanes Academy channel. In this video, you are going to see with the help of Streamlit how to generate interactive scatter plot like this. Let's see that. Here, our plan is to have a particular graphic displayed in such a way that we have the selection boxes or the drop down boxes in, in one column which is a sidebar panel and another column which we consider to be a graph panel. To begin with, let me tell you that to run the Streamlit application, you require to have Streamlit package installed in your environment of Anaconda. So go to this particular link and install the Streamlit package. Now let us create a new py file and first of all let us give it some name. As you can see I have saved it as scatter underscore plot dot py. Let's consider some necessary imports for this particular application and also let's consider importing the CSV file which we have decided as cars93.csv into our environment with pandas data frame. Hence as you see we have done that. Let's take a look at this data set. This data set is cars93 data set and let us examine the different columns of this data set cars 93d types will give us the different data types the scatter plot is basically mean for x axis and y axis and both of them as far as possible numerical columns and hence we will choose all the numerical columns for our selection in case if we are interested in only the numerical columns we can give this particular expression so car 93 cars 93 dot d types not equal to object will give us all the numerical columns and if we put this expression in the cars 93 dot columns we will get all the numerical columns in this way and hence we have got all the numerical columns Otherwise, we can specify the list of numerical columns. In our case, let us specify some specific numerical columns. Also, let us specify the categorical columns as we require them for our color attribute. While I specify categorical columns, you can notice that I have specified none. We will come to know about that later. Now, as per our plan, we intend to have a title first and then the two columns. So, let's specify the title. Here goes the title. Let's test the output of this particular file only with the title. For doing that, we require to go to the anaconda command prompt, go to the directory where the file has been saved, and then run the command stream lit run and then the file name the file name is scatter plot one dot py after pressing enter you can expect the output to be appearing in the browser which you have set as the default browser here comes our title as we have only written about the title and haven't written about the columns only the title is appearing let's proceed with the columns so the next part of our plan is column 1 and column 2 that is the output with two columns now with this output we want the column 1's width to be less lesser and column second width to be relatively larger let's do that Hence, you can check with this line number 17 that we are specifying two columns over here with st.columns function 0.25 that is 25% of the 
width for the left column and 75 percent of the width to the right column you can also actually specify number but we are specifying the width over here so let's proceed now with the two created objects column one and column two now as you see with column one call one object i am specifying the object x axis x underscore axis as select box or selection box this particular string is going to come as a label this particular object which we have already specified as a list of columns will be here the index that is the default selected default selected item from this particular list will be the zeroth item which is the price similarly let's specify the y axis column here you see we have specified y axis as one more object for selection box i have over here specified the index one that is the y axis will come the second element selected as mpgct along with x axis and y axis we also plan to specify the color axis or the color u which we want to have for our scatter plot let's do that we had already specified the categorical columns with cat underscore columns and we are now specifying cat underscore columns as the elements of the drop down box so hence our drop down boxes are ready let's now test this by refreshing the same window which we had opened and as you see the boxes are now ready and only the graph is remaining let's turn towards our code once again now we require to specify the elements of column 2 let's do that in column 2 we want the element of matplotlib the object of matplotlib to be displayed and hence we are instantiating the matplotlib subplots now we want scatter plot and that to a seaborn based scatter plot so sns dot scatter as you usually give x is equal to x axis so what is expected is when our selection box with our selection box when the user is going to select any element it will get passed to the x the element of y axis will get passed to y and the element with c axis selected whatever element selected will be passed to u we intend to display this plot in column 2 hence specifying this particular statement st.pyplot and the object of figure to be given to it is necessary now after saving this once again let us refresh this particular url and here we have the plot as you see the none will not give any color to any of the categories and if you choose any other category like origin you will have the u for that you can now play around with different options and see your data thanks for watching this video if you like this video please click the like button and for more videos from me please do subscribe to my channel thank you